So stair treads, with our Versalock standard unit, we can easily do stairs. The nice part about our block, it's six inches tall by 12 inches deep. So the rise to run is two to one, giving it a nice stair tread. In this scenario, what we've done is we've got, our stair treads are gonna be butting up next to a column and they're gonna be exposed on the right hand side over here. You can see we used our half unit so that this is gonna be exposed on the right hand side, simply with some halves. What we're gonna do is we inset this side of our block because as we cap it, you'll see there is an overhang with your stair treads. The other thing about our pedestal method, why don't you throw one on there, Alex? The pedestal method of VersaLock is so that we're insetting this next block so it sits on two blocks below it. We would take and use some VersaLock adhesive to glue this block and keep stacking. Alex is going to lay down the next stair tread and then we'll have our half unit for our exposed right hand side. From here, perhaps we introduce some stair treads. It could be our bullnose unit like we have here, our VersaLock caps, whatever you want to use. The point of this example though, as you can see, we're not overhanging our stair tread where it could be a trip ledge for your customer. From here, caps get put on and there is a, you know, perhaps we would go three, four deep in the VersaLock pedestal method. After that, there is a ratio of where you're just using too much block to make any economic sense. But this pedestal method, what it allows you to do, it allows you to get your plate compactor in there, get a nice base, and connect each block so they're more solid over time with freeze thaw.